all the people who start trouble on my Instagram are all young boys. They're just young. Barely, they might be a little bit older than boys. They must have crossed the 18-year-old barrier, but they're boys, okay? And with no supervision, and they come in and they shit post. And they did this over... This is what started this whole thing, by the way. Right. right? On okay. this one Buddy Rich post. And I told, I took them to task. And I said, on this page, you don't act like that. You act like that on your page. He said, you can screenshot any one of my... He said, you can hold court over there. And there's nothing I can do to stop you. He said, over here, you are not speaking that way to other people or me. Because mm-hmm. you're out if you do. Now, when I declared that, I just made a simple declaration. You will be held accountable for just like you would in real life. I consider my social media pages my digital house. I create free content. It doesn't cost anybody a dime, and no one's ha- no one is forced to be there. Yeah, right. Yeah. My page, my rules, just like your page, your rules. Mm-hmm. Now, I always live that way. But I don't know if you remember. You probably didn't. I can show it to you when this is over. And if you want to, you can see they're coming for me now, man. <laughs> they heard about. Hey, man. Hey, man. That's beautiful. Did you piss off the boys on your Instagram? Did you piss off those young boys? <laughs> those young boys who should have supervision from their parents who aren't watching? Those boys? Why, yes, I did. That's improvising, by the way. <laughs> Nicely done. So at any rate, uh, there was a there was a. Uh, I did an interview on the Jazz Cruise um, where okay. they were talking about my teaching. Okay, okay. all right. And I and I made a, and it got a lot of play because at this point I was already a very well known educator and had a couple of number one books and stuff. And I called myself a fraud. And I called myself a fraud because I was supposed to be this state of the art educator. You know, integrated progressive educator. Okay. And it was all bullshit. I was kicking the can down the road, only doing what I was being taught. I was regurgitating. Oh. So I went and I I did a deep dive. This has happened. This is about twenty years ago. But I did a deep dive, and I went through every single piece of literature that I use and every concept that I teach, and I went through it, and I was was whether or not it was relevant to a student going into the music business today. Mm-hmm. Not when I was 18, but when now, right? right? And I went through and I got rid of a lot of sacred cows, okay? All right, fast forward to 2019, okay? And I looked in the mirror and I realized I'm a fraud again, me. By me not being a leader on social media, by being the example that a man throws down when boys are acting like boys and literally ignoring it because that's what they say to do. Just ignore it. And what does that say about me if I do that on my page? Because I never, Seamus, I never go to your page or anyone else's. I hold court. People have to come to me. Mm -hmm. I never go to anyone else's page or post ever and start anything, ever. Mm-hmm. Literally every interaction I have on social media, they're coming to me. Right. Think about that. They're coming to me and they're still mad <laughs> when I'm just sitting here saying what I gotta say. And when I started this, there was a backlash when I said, when I said you can't and will not behave that way here. No one had said it, no one. Everybody's so afraid. I mean, I'm looking at you right now. (laughs) What are you afraid of? That somebody's going to maybe not follow you? Won't like you? What are... And I asked myself these questions. And that changed everything for me. And I lost probably about 5,000 people in a month. I banned 2,000 more. And then I gained 25,000 after the smoke and the dust had cleared. Mm. Because authenticity and leadership and doing the right thing works. It works. We just have to have the strength of will to do it. So I reject 
every time somebody says ignore bullying, trolling, any kind of harassment, I completely reject that. And I suggest that you reject it too. If there, and I believe that there is a very small amount of people who try to make social media a negative experience. Most of the people, like most of the people watching this right now, are positive. They're wonderful people. Mm -hmm. They want to go on social media and have a great time. But one bad apple spoils a bunch, and that is 100% true. Yeah, right. If we, the good people, form a good circle... Get the bad apples on the outside. Yep. And I mean on every drum forum, on every page. If we just through a collective strength of will made and held everyone accountable, yeah. they would have nowhere to go. Yeah, right. They would have nowhere yeah, to go. Yeah. The drum community is small. Mm -hmm. It's a small family. Yeah. And I think it's worth protecting. Absolutely. Absolutely.